Hello! Today your lesson is called Paper Pancakes. Today you will practice sharing pancakes evenly between friends. Have you ever helped make pancakes or watched somebody make pancakes? Do you like pancakes? What kind of toppings do you like to eat with your pancakes? Syrup? Butter? Jam? Something else? Today we're going to talk about one pancake here in our first example. And there are two friends that want to share this pancake. They want to share it evenly so they both get the same amount. Let's look at that circle pancake. Can you think of a way they could split this pancake in half so they both get the same amount? What if we cut the pancake like this? Would that be fair? Would they both get the same amount? They don't get the same amount if we cut it like that because this piece over here is way bigger than this piece. What if we cut it like this? Is that the same? No, this side is way bigger and this side is so small. So this is not in half. What if we cut it like this? Is this what you were thinking? Could this be in half? Do both sides look the same? Yeah, they're the same size. Another way we can check is here, look, I have a paper pancake that was together, and then I cut it in half. And if I put one piece on top of the other piece, look, they're about the same size because they cover each other. So yes, they're the same amount. This is cut in half. They both have the same amount. So let's cut this pancake in half. And there's part for her and part for him right here. We cut it in half. So let's show that. There's one pancake. If we cut it right here on the line, each person gets half. One half right here and one half right here. Next, let's look at two pancakes. And this time, we have four people wanting to share the pancakes. Well, we said that these two could cut it in half like this. Do these two need to cut it in half the same way to be able to get the same amount? What if we cut it like this? Are they getting the same amount? No, that's not cutting in half because these two parts are not the same size. What about like this? Is that the same size for each person? Yes, so this pancake is also being cut in half right down the middle, just like our paper pancake right here. Cut down the middle and both parts are the same size. Good, so when we had two pancakes, we cut them both the same way. For four people, they each get half, half, one half, and one half. Okay, can you predict what's coming next? We had one pancake, then we had two pancakes. Now we're going to have three pancakes. Let's see who's going to share these pancakes. Ooh, how many people is this? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six people are sharing three pancakes. We can split these in half like we've been doing. Does this pancake need to be the same thing for these two to share this pancake? Let's see. Ooh, is this the same? Yes, this is also another way you can cut this circle or this pancake in half. It's the same line, it's just going across instead of up and down. So yes, if you cut the pancake like this, bing, and flip it over, they're the same size. So this is another way to cut it in half so both people get the same amount. I'm going to twist it to match our model. There we go. So we can see, here's three pancakes. We split them between six people and every person gets one half. 
this pancake, half of it goes to this person, the other half to this person. Again, half and half. Half and half. Wow, okay, so today we practice sharing the pancakes evenly between the people. And when you share it evenly, everyone gets the same amount. 